In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm gonna break down the process of creating this DIY wood slap wall. This has been something that's going around the internet, on Pinterest and Instagram, and I really like the look and style of this accent wall. And so I wanted to try it out here in my office. For this project, I have documented every step that I took to create this DIY wood slat wall, and I wanna share that with you right now. Step number one was to tape down all of the areas that I did not want paint. For the most part, this was going to be all of the trim around the door frame into the closet and the baseboards just around the area of the, the two walls that I was gonna be painting from uh, ceiling uh, down to the floor. This was the first time that I used this tape and it was pretty easy to work with, highly recommend it, and I'll be using it for other projects too. Step number two was to tape off the middle section of the wall. This is where I was going to be creating the half wall. And I used this laser leveler in order to do so. This came in pretty handy um, as I wanted to make sure that this line was as straight as possible. And I came across with the frog tape to make sure that we get a nice crisp line. Then I put down the drop cloth and we are ready to paint. For the paint, I chose a darkish gray color from Bear called Carbon Copy. I'll make sure to put the link down in the description so you can check it out if you like the color. As this was one of the first times that I'd actually done a paint project by myself, I did make sure to take all the safeguards that I could and kind of foolproof this process. So I picked up this little edging tool that I found at Home Depot and it actually worked pretty well. I'll make sure I link that down in the description below. This allowed me to basically edge in all the places that I need to without getting uh, too much paint everywhere and not having to deal with a brush uh, since honestly, I'm not even that good at painting. Uh, and I, but I found this tool very helpful to cut in the ceiling and as well down by the baseboard. I did have to go back with two coats to do this, but I found it to be uh, pretty simple and, and easy to work with. Next, we'll get to some rolling. Rolling all of the areas inside of the tape marks was probably the simplest part of the project. And honestly, it was quite satisfying. Again, this was the first time I had done a paint project myself and I really enjoyed it. When people say that a paint job can really change the total feel of the room, I, I really believe that because as I was adding this first coat of paint onto the wall, just the environment of the room already started to change. And then this part, this is probably one of the most satisfying parts of this job, uh, which was peeling off all of, the, all of the tape, revealing that nice crisp line. That was pretty cool. The next step in the process was to work with the wood slats itself. I picked up, I believe it was 30 MDF boards from Home Depot. Link is down in the description for these. These came in a bundle of six. And what I like about these MDF boards is that they were all pretty straight. I didn't have to worry about any warping or anything like that. And they came pre-primed. So just to get an idea of what the wood slats would look like on the wall, I just went ahead and cut a couple spacers, which I would end up using for the spacing in between each of the slats. Cut about maybe 12 inches on the miter saw just so I can have uh, something to work with. And I got this miter saw from uh, the package, a bundle from Home Depot that included, uh, of course, a saw, but plenty other tools that I used for this project. After working with some of the spacers on the wall and determining how much space I wanted to put between each wood slat, I went ahead and dry fit the first wood slat into the corner on the right side. Once I was comfortable as to how that fit, it was time to nail it in. 
what was nice about the bundle that I purchased was that this nail gun came included with it as well. I knew many of the projects I wanted to work on required a nail gun, so it was a no-brainer for me to pick up that package. After I got the first two corner pieces in, I kind of got a system down as to how I would install and shoot in all of the wood slats. For the spacing, I just used that 12 inch piece and used it basically on its side so each spacing was about three quarters of an inch. After installing a few, I kind of got into a rhythm and kind of got the hang of how I wanted to huh, hang these. But um, this was definitely something that just took time and I had to make sure that everything was aligned correctly, spaced correctly, and I couldn't rush this. And I wouldn't recommend going too quickly so that you avoid making mistakes. One thing you want to make sure is how you want to deal with the bottom part of the wall slats. So how these basically come up to either your baseboard or if you're removing your baseboard. But this was one thing that I hadn't quite figured out yet. And you'll see in a few minutes how I had to deal with that. So after nailing in all of the wood slats, I used this plastic wood X from DAP to fill all of the holes. Now this was probably the most tedious part of the entire project, <laughs> having to go back and fill all of these holes. And I have to say this is the first time that I've used this product and it worked pretty well for me, but I probably didn't need to apply as much that I did on this first go around because I ended up having to sand all of this down and it just created a ton of dust, unnecessary dust that I didn't really need to create. Next, it's on to painting the wood slats. So I'm using the same paint that I use for the walls. I'm just going through, I rolled the front faces and then I'm going back with the brush to get inside um, the inside and in between each of the wood slats itself. I went with two coats of that just to make sure everything was covered up. And then for the trim, I used a small piece of, of wood trim, painted it, and that way it gave it a nice clean look on the top and the bottom. I made sure to caulk all of the edges around the trim and we were good to go. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied as to how this came together. I really like the, the added texture that it creates uh, in the room. I think for my first project, this was pretty good. I do think that there were some things I could have done better, but ultimately I actually really like how the paint itself really changes the environment of the room. And then the wood slats give it a nice extra added texture and feature to bring it together. And you can see here in some of the before and after shots that this really does make a difference in the room creating more of an environment and I really like the way that the wood on the desk pops against this darker gray. I do plan on adding a little bit more to the walls themselves with some wall art, maybe some canvases or some framed portrait or pictures. I really think that will bring uh, this wall into the room and kind of create that finished look that I'm looking for. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful in helping you decide if you wanted to do a DIY wood slat wall in your home office or your living room or bedroom, wherever that may be. If this was helpful, I encourage you and ask you to hit the thumbs up button. This helps YouTube show this video to more people who might be interested in creating a wood slat wall in their home or their office. But until then, I will see you next time.